Welcome to part three of the ESD Basics Bite Size. In today's video, we'll be looking at ESD as the hidden enemy, the types of ESD damage and the cost of ESD damage. Many firms consider all electronic components ESD sensitive. Otherwise, it's critical to be aware of the relative sensitivity to ESD damage of the devices you may be working with. Classifications from the ESD Association help do this. As electronic technology advances, electronic components tend to become smaller and smaller. As the size of these components is reduced, so is the width of circuits and microscopic spacing of insulators within them, increasing their sensitivity to ESD. As you can predict, the needs for proper ESD control increases every day. ESD is the hidden enemy in electronic manufacturing. ESD damage cannot be seen by the naked eye. Only very sophisticated high magnification photography with the aid of a scanning electron microscope can show the damage. Catastrophic failures occur when a component is damaged to the point where it is dead now and will never again function. This is the easiest type of ESD damage to find since it can be detected during testing. Latent defects occur when ESD weakens or wounds the component to the point where it will still function properly during testing, but over time, the wounded component may cause poor system performance. Later, after final inspection, perhaps in the hands of your customer, a latent defect may become a catastrophic failure. Not only is this type of damage hard to find, but it also severely affects the reputation of your company's product. Latent defects can cause upset or intermittent failures and be very frustrating, including the customer returning a product with a problem which then again passes all inspection. The cost for repair increases as detection of the failure moves through the system. Electrostatic damage to electronic devices can occur at any point from the manufacture of the device to field service of systems. Damage results from handling the device in uncontrolled surroundings or when poor ESD control practices are used. Generally, damage can manifest itself as a catastrophic failure, a paramatic change, or an undetected paramatic change, which is a latent defect. Catastrophic failures. When an electronic device is exposed to an ESD event, it may no longer function. The ESD event may have caused a metal melt a junction breakdown or oxide failure. The device's circuitry is permanently damaged, resulting in a catastrophic failure. A latent defect. A device that is exposed to an ESD event may be partially degraded, yet continue to perform its intended function. However, the operating life of the device may be reduced dramatically. A product or system incorporating devices with latent defects may experience a premature failure after the user places them in service. Such failures are usually costly to repair and in some applications may create personal hazards. It is easy with proper equipment to confirm that the device has experienced catastrophic failure or that a part is degraded or fails test parameters. Basic performance tests will substantiate device damage. However, Latent defects are virtually impossible to prove or detect using current technology, especially after the device is assembled into a finished product. Some studies claim that the number of devices shipped to users with latent defects exceeds the number that fail catastrophically due to ESD in manufacturing. It's fair to say that the repair cost for a latent defect increases dramatically the later it is detected. Here we have one study that indicates the escalating cost the later the defect is found. And also remember, catastrophic failures are detected during inspection, but components with latent defects pass as good. Latent defects are the most frustrating. A pass inspection is good but may fail later. They can cause equipment downtime and lead to costly field repair work and adversely impact customer satisfaction. The latent defect is truly the hidden enemy because ESD damage may occur, but it cannot be felt, it cannot be seen, and it is not detected through normal inspection procedures.